Thank you, Lord. Tonight, one hour of power, the word be coming from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 1. While you find it, I will yet pray, Father, I thank you, Lord God. Oh, Father, as I decrease and you increase, let your words come out of my mouth, God, and not my personal feelings, God, not my personal thoughts, God, but your words, God, your thoughts, God. Father God, we thank you for watching over us, being our protector, being our shepherd, Lord God. And Father God, we thank you for the shepherd that you have over this church, God. Continue to bless them, God. Continue to uplift them, God. And Lord, I thank you right now, God, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, sin, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us thank you Lord and tonight if I could give us a title and I pray that this is from the Holy Spirit and that tonight is run tell that and you may be seated the year of 2021 has arrived. A lot of our loved ones didn't make it. They didn't make it into this year. Some died of sickness, a related accident, or for an unknown cause. God has allowed us to come into a new year with new mercy and new grace. There was a lot to be said and a lot to be done before 2021. But unfortunately, time didn't wait for neither of us with so much going on today in the news at your job from church to church in your house and from the white house to the black house people are talking loud but ain't saying nothing so i'm here tonight on assignment to give us something to talk about something to change the atmosphere some folks always got something to say. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, they have no regards as a sender to the receiver in communication. They just love to run, tell somebody something. So let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> So that I can give you something to talk about. And this time, when you run, when you want to run, go tell somebody something. Begin with this. Jesus People Church 4400 Hickory Hill is full of gifted, talented Christians ranging from babes to the elderly. Jesus People Church has a pastor named Jerakina. Not only does he have a PhD from college, but he is also an example for the Lord with a PhD. He is a prophet, he's humble, and he is a disciple. Run tell that. Why you running your mouth about that? Talk about this. Folks say that the pastors are out to pimp the church. Make sure you leave this pastor's name out, Pastor Joel Connor, because this man alone has given me over $2,000 on separate occasions as a gift to sow into my life without even asking or doing any special favors. Run tell that. Run tell this. Doing your money talking, not only has he blessed me, but I've seen him bless more than half of the congregation with money and our gifts. Run tell that. Run tell this. Jesus People Church has ministers and teachers that lay out and study the word of God and speak what does say the Holy Ghost? Not our personal feelings. Run tell that. You need more to talk about? Okay. Let's talk about how 
sister Felicia, a witness, a servant for the Lord, goes in and out of the hospital, supposedly as a patient, but really is on assignment. When she comes back into the house of the Lord, she's on fire more and more. Run, tell that. You want something else to talk about? Talk about how we got some of the youngest dance instructors at Jesus People Church. Talk about how we got Sunday school teachers, child care representatives who never went to college for their knowledge. They were just gifted by God to provide. Run, tell that. Run, tell this that weeping may endure for a night, but joy shall come in the morning. Run, tell that. Run, tell that number 101. When you talking all the time and don't have nothing nice or uplifting to say, just shut up. This world got enough people on the clock to talk about nothing. TMC, Channel 13, Channel 24, these people get paid to talk about nothing. So we ain't even getting paid so we can just shut our mouth. <sighs> Hebrews 12 and 1 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses. He said, somebody always watching from the atheist to the most high. Ain't nothing done in secret. Okay, I get that. And look, but we don't need no one to always want to talk about the negative things of life that produces no positive outcome. Run, tell that, number 102. When you running and talking for God, it is not done in vain. The text says, Hebrews 12 and 1, and the sin which does so easily beseed us, that sin, that sin, that sin that affects our walk with the Lord, that sin, that sin, that sin that torments us and try to overcome us, you know that sin, that sin, that sin that you don't talk about, that sin, that sin that you run, don't run tell nobody, that sin. The word of God says, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You got your race and I got my race. Don't try to beat me running because I'm running on God's time. We got to learn to have patience. Pastor told us a couple of Sundays ago that sometimes just coming to church won't do it alone. We may have to lay out. We may have to cry out. We may have to call out. But look, he knows. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. God knows what you have need of before you ask. We just got to ask, open up our mouth and ask. We open up our mouth for everything else, but we don't want to open up our mouth for the Lord. Do run tell this, that no matter what you say, what he say, what they say, Jehovah Jireh is my provider. Run tell that. Okay, that ain't enough. <laughs> Run, tell their scriptures to talk about and to do. Number one, train. Use your talking to train up your children. If you ain't got no children, you got some children in your family. You got some children on your job. It's some children somewhere. Because if we don't train them up in the word, somebody going to train, train them up in the world. 
Proverbs 22 and 6 says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. You got something to talk about. Sit them kids down and talk to them children and tell them children about the Lord. Sit them children down and let them know that 2021 is not a microwave generation. You gonna have to learn how to wait. You gonna have to learn how to have some patience. Let me put some more word on it. Deuteronomy 6 and 7. He said, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when they sit as in thine house, and when they walk as by the way, and when thou lies down, and when thou rise up. You got something to say. Whether them kids are up, whether they sleep, whether they going to school, talk to them. Tell them what they need to know. I don't care if my children don't listen or not. I'm not finna go to God and he say, why you ain't tell them? That's what I got to do. I got to tell you what's right and what's wrong, especially when I don't went through it. Now, if you don't want to listen, that's on you. Let me run tell this. Look, number 103. Study the word of God for a word. If you need a word and you don't know what to say, open up the Bible. He'll give you a word to say. If you go over to John 4 and 28, it's a story where it talks about a woman came because she was thirsty to fill her water pot. When she got over there, she realized that she met a man that filled a thirst that she had been looking for to dry up for years. When she went over there to talk to him, he told her, I got something for you to go talk about. And she did just that. She went and received the word of God and went and spread the gospel and not the gossip. Another scripture, Luke 17, 14 through 16. When God is healing, God healed 10 lepers he healed them and y'all he, he came and, and one of them came back and said look i just want to tell you thank you see when god do something for you or even when you see him doing something for somebody else open up your mouth and tell him thank you open up your mouth and tell him thank you go run tell what god is doing stop running telling all this bad stuff it's a lot of stuff god doing it's a lot of stuff that Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Quit running, telling all this negative stuff. Run, tell this that God is a healer. He's still in the healing business. His business don't need no man to run it. Run, tell that. Run, tell this. He's the owner. He's the miracle worker. He will clean you up, and he will wash away your sin. See, God don't need no maintenance man. God don't need no uh, lady to come in as the cleanup lady, because he's all that in one. Jesus went to the cross. Looking into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Run, tell that.